welcome to Storyboard. I'm Shibani Gharat. Leo Burnett has had an amazing run in 2023. Besides posting a good growth, it has won several international awards and returned as India's number one agency from the Cannes Lion International Festival of Creativity and at the helm of the agency's creative genius is Rajdeepak Das, who was recently appointed as Chairman Leo Burnett South Asia and Chief Creative Officer of Publicis Group South Asia. As we wrap up the year, we are catching up with him on the new role, changing advertising landscape and what excites him as a creative leader. What a year it has been for Raj Deepak Das, who is now the Chief Creative Officer, Publicist Group South Asia and Chairman Leo Burnett South Asia. As we wrap the year, I'm catching up with him at their much decorated Leo Burnett office in Mumbai. Raj, welcome to CNBC TV 18. Thank you, Shivani, for having me here and mostly welcome to home. I will come home, you can see that. Yes, and it looks beautiful around Christmas this year. Merry Christmas. Yes, only a couple of weeks since you, uh, you know, assumed your new role as the CCO of Publicis Group South Asia. Tell us, what have the past couple of weeks been like for you? Uh, I think, I think it's busy. It's crazy busy, happy busy, I can say that, right? Uh, it's been amazing. Uh, first is a uh, lot of changes, uh, good changes, a uh, lot of interesting things happening. Um, it's the role uh, actually changes a lot of things for the industry. Um, because I think so first is being the chairman of Leo Burnett. And the bigger thing is also getting the CCO of the entire group where you actually will be able to work with all the creative heads and all the business heads yeah. of the entire group. And I think that's amazing. That's amazing. Raj, I've known you for the past 10, 12 years and especially first on the creative side of things. And I have seen you almost smoothly transitioning from, uh, you know, the ponytail, as we say, to suits. You're someone who wears T-shirts, but also, you know, figuratively yeah. wears a suit. Yeah. Tell us, um, you know, how did you transition from the creative side all the way up to business, managing both the things? I think uh, one of our friends said that uh, interesting thing. I think our industry is not that tough. It's a creative industry at the end of the day, right? So we are, what we are selling, we are not selling any commodity, right? We are not into banking. We are not into looking at the stock price or anything that for us as a, as a creative industry, our top line is what you create. The top line is people. And if you can take the top line right, everything else will follow. Yeah. I think, and that's the biggest, best thing. And one thing that I had in mind, how can we get that top line right? Which is the best piece of work for our biggest brands and having the best creatives or the solution minded people serving our best clients. And the moment you started working towards that, I think everything follows. We all run homes. Yeah. Right? So that's not rocket science. Yes, yes. And now the, the role has even expanded further to uh, moving away from Leo Burnett at the group level. Uh, tell us what were the conversations, the initial conversations that you've had with Anupriya? What are her expectations from you as the new CCO of Publicis Group? I think First and most important thing, if you see the brands that we have under Publicis Group is amazing, right? And uh, either one side you look at the creative businesses, either it is Sachi and Sachi, uh, Leo Burnett, Publicis uh, Communication, uh, BBH, uh, then you have Digitas, you have Indigo, you have uh, MSL, you have Genith, you have Performix. You, you can go on and on, right? You can have all the brands, the great brand that we have under it. Now understand the the possibilities they are there what we can do if you can actually have one string that is creativity in the center of it. And I think the best thing was, and that is what uh, Anupriya and me talk about most of the time, the, she has seen that way how a business can change the creative in the center of it. And a lot of our biggest businesses come to us not because we have a good office, uh, not because we all wear black, because the kind of work that we do. And it was always the center of it. And we thought if you can put that same thread in the center of what the entire group does, creativity in the center of it, it will be amazingly getting things together. Like, think of it, we have something like Performix, the data that we can work with. Digitas, again, amazing capability. Prodigies, the films. And you've seen that recently what we did for um, Oreo, Sivo, Save It with Oreo. We actually managed to get AI 
the idea was Leo Burnett, but we got the AI partners, we got our digital partners, which is um, Digitas, then we got our partner of content, which is Prodigy, come together and created something which was amazing, which everything was in-house doing it together. And we didn't know how to do it, we just made it happen. And that's one of the biggest examples when you can get the best of our, all the powers that we have together. You can create the best story for our clients. Yeah. And I think that's the power of story of power of one. It's nothing new about it. Getting the best capability under one roof. We managed to do that. And what else does like a group level CCO role enable? We haven't seen it too often in our country. We first. have seen it globally. Yeah. Like WPP, for example, has a global uh, you know, Managed. group level uh, CCO. Managed, yeah. uh, but what does it really enable? What are the challenges also, if you can uh, touch upon that? So, I'll tell you, I think the reason India, uh, they've never had it because I think very few networks have come together like this. I think uh, Publicis, I think uh, eight, nine years back, they started getting things together. And I think four years back, it was uh, one leadership, one country model happened. Yeah. And it was never happened anywhere else. Like, it's hard And now you, all of you sit in one building. One building, Earlier right? Earlier you used to be, and I would keep on visiting you at another exactly. office. Exactly, But now exactly. everyone is together in exactly. one building. Exactly, yeah. exactly, right? So it is, that it is not only sitting in one building, we interact with it. Now we have GLTs that happen every, um, what do you call it, month, Anupriya does the GLT that's happening. The, we know exactly what's happening in the other agency. We talk about it, we see what are the capabilities they have. Um, and that's the amazing thing. When you are actually working, looking at everything's strength and says, what can we do with it? It's amazing. In fact, one of the biggest brands that we work with actually use the creative side with Leo Burnett or with Sachi or with BBH and then the media also with us and the digital side with us also. So now the biggest brands also coming together understanding the power of one and how can you come to the one place and that is the only reason you can have a CCO as a group CCO yeah. then you can do the one job. It is not fragmented, it's just actually one. Yeah. Right? We, 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 it's, it looks very different. That's, you know what, and, and that's why it has never happened in India because um, no group has come together like this. Yeah, true that. And also another thing, and I specifically remember whenever I would ask you about tech's role in creativity and how, you know, tech forces and creative forces within agency are coming together, creating ideas uh, involving tech. And your answer to that has always been that your job as a creative leader is to solve human problems. And yeah. that is what you do at Leo Burnett. Yeah. Uh, tell us, how are you taking it at the group level? Okay, so... This quality of solving human problems being in a creative agency. See, I think um, creative agencies are known for actually solu finding solutions. Somewhere we forgot that, right? We are amazing in finding solutions. Let's look at the best tech companies. The, the founders are creative people. Right, and that is what it is. I think somewhere we forgot that. I think when in Burnett, what we did, we made that impacting a billion in the center of it. So any big brand that we work with, and any big work that we came out of the brand, I just it is impacting billion people's life. Either it is working for uh, the water sustainability project that we started with it, uh, lace farmers project, um, biochar to anything. You can look at it. Uh, I mean, 175 that we did for that. Uh, for Airtel, everything got one thing in common, how to impact billion people life, either as content wise, either technology wise, service wise, product wise. And I think it's not because Leo Burnett's, it's core to Leo Burnett. It's, it's a bunch of people who work here have the same vision, that it was much easier. And the reason it was possible because we had one vision and vision was so big that we all have to work together. So there's no individualism happening that I can do it. You can't do it together. Just look around. It's an amazing team that we have. We have one of the best brands with us. Um, and what the data they have, the, the content they can create, it was actually a power that we have to solve more human problems. More creative minds coming together. I remember first time when I joined Burnett, Everyone thought it's because a bigger role, and after 10 years back, we talk yeah. about, right? I was excited because I'm going to work with some 200 creative people. Yeah. It's some 100 planners and yeah. uh, so many business people and so many brands that you can find solution. And that is what exactly is going to happen. The more minds, more hungry people, more visions coming together to have one vision, how to impact billion people using our best brands to do the best piece of work. Yeah. And that's core. core. Yeah. And no one want to get up in the morning, want to do shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, carrying the you know notion of solving human problems, uh, tell us how do you keep your clients sober 
with all this excitement around AI and you know technology, कि AI के साथ कुछ करते हैं, tech tech के साथ कुछ करते हैं. So how do you keep them sober and you know like grounded on uh, you know this front? See, I think one of the things that most of the time and the biggest challenge, I think what you ask is very best thing. Everyone wants to do good work, but no one knows how to do good work. It's it's everyone wants. No, I'm telling you, low client wants to do bad work, right? And uh, and always says, Ki, yeah, there is there is going on AI going on. Can you do something for me? So I think when we have the filter comes out, right? Uh, what is the purpose that you are doing? Are you reaching? The, are you doing the right thing? For instance, recently we have started something called Bharat AI. Now, what is Bharat AI? Smart Farm is the biggest example of Bharat AI. It says AI is always been having a um, morphing a face, a deep fake, doing for India one or India two. Can we have a dance move going on? I says no. Can we go out and use the AI to impact billions of people's life? So AI is not no more a rich people's toy, but everyone's cup of tea. And now when you're working with the client, we actually explain it. You know, wait a second. It's not a toy what you're talking about. It's a it's an empowering tool that you can go and reach everyone. And and that's what you can do with it. It takes time. It takes time. Like I keep on my team. Don't let go the momentum. You know, if someone is believing in it, make them buy it and make them reason why they want to buy this. It's a toy, expensive toy, but make them understand it's not a toy. It's actually a tool that can impact people's life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, moving forward, uh, you know, Raj, we spoke right at the beginning of the conversation on how an incredible year it has been for you. In fact, the past couple of years, winning so many awards and accolades, not just in India, whether it comes to Epis or uh, you know Abbies, Cannes, Cannes Lions, everything. everything. You yeah. have it all in your basket, in your kitty. Uh, over the past couple of years, but this was also uh, an year. Interestingly, uh, you lost uh, one of your partners. You both were practically inseparable, and of course, I'm speaking about Dheeraj Sinha. How did that feel? Of course, I love him. Still, he's my brother. Um, that will never stop, right? Uh, because when you fight in the trench, you fight in the trench, and it's the stories are more important. I think, and uh, and we will keep it like that, because, uh, like I says, our industry is big. And there is, he always says one thing called abundance, right? And it's lot. And and I says there is more like us, it'll be out there. It's the story of, uh, if, uh, I remember the story of uh, when people leave Burnett. And I always says it's good for us. It says one is change. And the second interesting thing is, I tell a story about the um, the uh, the Silicon Valley mafia. You know how the Silicon Valley mafia is? There was a time when a bunch of people used to work at the place called Fairchild. And one, then they all leave, and then the Silicon Valley was created, and that's the entire thing. People believing in creativity can change the world, and we can go more and more out, and we can change more industry, more businesses, and the best can happen there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. Uh, what excites you about 2024? Since we are only a couple of weeks, uh, you know, away from the new year. Uh, so. So we recently went to Goa and we just had a chart to us like, uh, what is the next year? We didn't look at what is 2024 is going to look like. We said 2020, 2030 is going to look like. You know, if you look at 2024, you are going to look at the short-term plans and everything. I think what we look into is what is 2023, 30 is going to look like, 2030. In that process, 2024 will be part of it for us. So the goal is much bigger. The vision is much bigger for us. How we impact the country, how we impact the creativity at the center of it, and doing changing things for governments, for brands, for everything possible, for sustainability, AI, everything in the core of it. And in terms of you know your new role as the CCO for the group, what are the key areas that you would like to or are looking forward to work on going forward? What is missing, for example? Uh, not missing, I think. I just see the opportunity there. We have amazing uh, data partners we have, uh, amazing media partners we have, like literally good and one of the best PR companies that we have in the country, right? And understanding we're getting those together, what powerful stories can be built and what powerful solution can be done. I'm just waiting for that. And how are you working towards, you know, elevating the group's creative agenda? Do I have a choice? How are you working <laughs> towards it? It's, it's, it's a simple way of doing it. You'll see that coming very soon. We'll be talking about how we're doing it. The plan is coming out. We'll be talking about it. Give us a sneak peek of the plan. It's one. It's one team. It's one right? team. One team, one vision. The biggest brand that we work together will make a big thing happen. And it's one vision that we have. Yeah. You'll see that. 
and uh, you know uh, uh, is there any goal set for you in terms of getting on board more clients or you know like uh, acquiring more businesses see our industry is nothing if you don't have great clients there's always like uh, creativity is nothing if you don't have great clients so that will always be there as a part of the kitty always be there but it's not about the biggest client that you win but what you do with those clients is what matters for us i think uh, win will be one part of it but what we do with what we have because we have a lot of clients i mean combining all the brands together see what amount of big clients we have what kind of inroad that we have what we do with them is what our fun is going to be and yeah. the challenge is going to be and from an advertising industry point of view what is it that excites you as a creative leader going forward last year of course everyone towards the end of the year was speaking about generative ai over the past one year everyone has been there done that but moving forward what is it that excites you what are the opportunities that excite you? i think shivani i think my uh, core goal has not changed yet um impacting a billion and to impact a billion you take time it doesn't happen overnight yeah. right even governments take years to do that and i'm just a creative agency we're going to doing that if i'm going to impacting a billion going to happen it's going to happen like this from 2020 30 30 is the plan we have a road map for that and every single day using every single platform or services or ai whatever is coming on the way we are of course we are developing it working with them and everything but saying that it's a long way to go but we know it's going to happen and trust me it's the most interesting time in the creative industry in the world ever possible great all the best for that thank you so much thanks for joining us today thank you sumani It is time for a short break on the other side we have the best christmas ads for 2023